give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to Impact. Impacts is a video teaching series where I try to help nurture your faith in, your commitment to, and your relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, in a couple of days, it's going to be Thanksgiving, and we're going to be gathering with family and friends and enjoying a feast. And one of the traditions that many of us have is that during that meal, we go around the table and we ask everyone to say something for which they are thankful. And I think that is such a fabulous tradition. But I want to encourage you, challenge you, not only to be thankful that day, but to actually live a life of gratitude. So today I want to offer you five easy steps to doing just that. So come on, let's get started. You know, when we turn to the book of Psalms, particularly Psalm 57, we read this. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praise to you among the nations. You know, this passage and others like it encourage us, even challenge us to be thankful, to give thanks not only uh, at special days and special occasions, but at all times. So I want to offer you five easy ways that we do that because we need to live a life of thanksgiving. We need to live lives of gratitude. So the first thing I would encourage you to do is when you're still laying in bed, after you wake up, before you throw back the covers and you start thinking about everything, before anything, just say a brief prayer. Giving thanks to God for the gift of another day. Give thanks to God for the opportunities that lie ahead. It doesn't need to be a very long prayer, but just start your day by giving thanks, and that really will have a ripple effect through the rest of the things you do. The second thing, and a lot of you already do this, but be sure before you eat any meal during the day that you give thanks, that you say a blessing. I don't care if you're at home or if you're at a restaurant. Take time to give thanks, particularly if you're at a restaurant maybe. Don't be afraid of what others are going to think. Make it a part of who you are and what you do. You can offer the prayer, particularly if you're out in public, you can offer it silently, or you can just say a quiet prayer, a prayer for your table. I find that people really appreciate that. So be sure that you don't neglect to give thanks before your meals. The third thing I would encourage you to do is to send notes to people. I like handwritten notes. Just take a moment, write a handwritten note to someone. It could be to say thank you, maybe for something that they have done, maybe something they've given you, or maybe it's just saying thank you for being who they are. But send a note. It just lets people know how thankful uh, you are for them and how much you care for them. A similar thing would be to compliment people. Let us be free with our compliments. Let's not hold them back. Thank them for a job well done. Thank them for uh, maybe uh, bringing you a meal or visiting you. Uh, thank them just for being your friend. You know, the, the list of things that we could compliment people for is endless. The problem is we often just hold them inside. So become a person that freely gives those compliments and uh People will appreciate that. and uh, It's a way of, again, just showing that gratitude for them. We have busy lives. There's a lot that's going on. And certainly each day brings things that we don't particularly care for. But what I hope you will do is before you go to bed, just take about five minutes. It doesn't take long. Take five minutes and think back through your day. And What are some things that you are specifically thankful for? Don't get caught up in things that didn't go your way, but particularly when things don't go your way. Look back and look for the good things. What are those things that you want to say thankful for? What are those things that you're appreciative for? What are those things that just kind of made you smile? So let's end our day in a similar way that we began it 
and that's by being thankful and thinking specifically about those things. So my challenge to you is this. I encourage you, I challenge you to adopt a lifestyle of gratitude so that people see in us a way of living that may be different than uh, other people around them. Go through this list. This list of five things are easy to do. You may create your own list as well. But specifically and intentionally, adopt a lifestyle of giving thanks. Well, look, I do thank you for joining me today with this video. I hope that it's been helpful. I hope that you'll share it with others so that they too can can uh, think through what it means to live a grateful life. I hope that you will take a minute or two to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until we get together again, I pray that God's blessings will be with you.